Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Magnix Software. So this is Sushma, Java Trainer and Python Trainer. So in this video I would like to discuss about inheritance topic. So let us see what is the definition of inheritance and we will discuss in this video we will we are going to discuss about single inheritance and we will see one program further. So let us see what is inheritance. Inheritance. So what is the definition of inheritance? Creating a new class from already existing class is called inheritance. The acquiring the properties from super class to subclass is nothing but inheritance. Any definition you can say. So let us see here definition. So what is the definition of inheritance? Creating a new class from new class from already existing class is called already existing class is called inheritance Or we can say like this also. We can say any one of the definition. Acquiring Acquiring the properties from Super class to subclass. Super class to subclass. is called inheritance. So what is the definition of inheritance? So creating a new class from already existing class is called inheritance or acquiring the properties from super class to subclass is nothing but inheritance. Any one of the definition you can tell in the internet. Okay. So let us see um, if you want to implement inheritance, we have to use extends keyword. Okay. So if you want to implement one class to another class, if you want to extend one class to another class in inheritance, we have to use a keyword called extend. Okay. So uh, we always, so when you are uh, using inheritance concept, we have to remember we can always create an object to subclass. So let us see. This is the in inheritance in inheritance we can create we can create object to subclass we can create object to subclass okay so this is the very very important point in inheritance we can create a object to super class okay uh, so how many types of inheritance are there as we know that so everybody can say that we are having five types of inheritance single inheritance multiple inheritance multi-level inheritance hierarchical inheritance and hybrid inheritance but in java single inheritance multi-level inheritance will be supported but multiple is not supported in java Okay, so instead of that we are implementing a concept called interfaces. Okay, so let us see how, what, what is single inheritance and what is multiple inheritance. Okay, and uh, we can see one program for single inheritance. And before going to that, we have to remember two points. So when you are implementing inheritance concept, whatever the default constructor we are having. So what is the definition of default constructor? A constructor without parameters is nothing but a default constructor. So, if you are representing any constructor, if you are writing any constructor in the super class, it will be by defaultly inherited to the subclass. See here guys, I am writing this point. Default constructor in super class. 
default constructor in super class will be directly inherited to the directly inherited to the subclass so whatever the default constructor you are having in superclass it will be directly inherited to the subclass by coming to the parameterized constructor what is the definition of parameterized constructor a constructor with parameters is called parameterized constructor so whatever the parameterized constructor you are writing in superclass it will not be directly inherited to the subclass so you have to remember these two points it is very very important so parameterized constructor parameterized constructor in superclass in superclass will not be inherited will not be inherited directly to the subclass directly to the subclass we have to remember these points when you are implementing inheritance so what is the definition of inheritance creating a new class from already existing class is called inheritance and we are having one more definition acquiring the properties from superclass to subclass is nothing but an inheritance we always create an object to subclass we always create an object to subclass and if you want to extend one class to another class then we have to use a keyword called extends keyword okay and we have to remember two points these are very very important so whatever the default constructor you are writing in the program the default constructor will be directly inherited to the subclass but whatever the parameterized constructor you are having that will not be inherited directly to the subclass so what is the advantage so let us see here what is the main advantage of inheritance code reusability is nothing but the main advantage of inheritance why because see when you are writing any method uh, so the method can be called to the subclass okay directly to the subclass why because superclass uh, data will be directly inherited to the subclass right so code reusability code reusability is the main advantage of uh, inheritance so let us see what are the different types of inheritance are present in java okay so let us see here guys first one is a single inheritance and the second one is multiple inheritance so first of all we can see single inheritance what we are going to see here single inheritance in single inheritance you are having one superclass you are having one subclass okay so you are uh, extends extends is the keyword to extend one class to another class let us assume this is a a class this is b class a class can be call it as an super class or you are calling it as an base class or we are going to call it as an base class or old class old class or parent class what we are going to call it as an parent class if you are calling a class as super class means b will be call it as an sub class what we are going to call it as a sub class or base means you are going to call it as a derived class okay or if you are calling old class means it will be call it as a new class parent means you are going to call it as a child class so like this we can say it is a single inheritance super means sub base means derived old means new parent means child class see actually old new parent child or uh, we cannot say in a professional way okay why you are going to any interviews don't say old class new class parent class or child class mention it as a super class sub class base class and 
derived class so you need to say in your professional way professional words we have to use while you are going to interview okay so what is a single inheritance deriving one subclass from one super class is called a single inheritance so let us see the definition so definition of a single inheritance okay so deriving one subclass from one subclass from one super class one super class is called single inheritance what we are going to call it as a single inheritance single inheritance so what is the definition of single inheritance deriving one subclass from one super class is called single inheritance so this is the definition of single inheritance so let us see the syntax from the above diagram how we can extend from one class to another class so let us see class now see here this is the class a and this is the class b first of all you need to write down the subclass name then we have to write down extend the keyword you are deriving this b class from a class okay now see class b extends a so in this way we are going to implement single inheritance okay now let us see one program how we are going to implement single inheritance and how you are calling the data okay so let us see here guys here we need to write down one program so let us see here i was taking class for suppose parent i am taking here parent class so this can be call it as a super class what we are going to call it as a super class in super class i was creating one object okay so i was giving i was creating sorry object na we need to create one method okay in class what it can create the class can contain variables and methods so i was creating one method in the parent class so i was creating display method okay i am writing here display method so this is the method okay in this method i am writing system dot out dot print ln of print ln of this is parent class this is a parent class i was writing some message okay this is a parent class now my parent class logic is completed now i have to derive from this parent class you need to derive child class so class extend so sorry class child from parent you are deriving child class extends extend parent extend parent so here child is nothing but subclass what we are going to call it as a subclass so here again you need to write down one more method so void show method for suppose you are writing here show method okay so this is again subclass method okay what you are giving here subclass method now if you are giving like this system dot out dot print ln of what i am going to take here print ln of this is child class what i am going to take here this is a child class okay now my parent class is ready and my child class is also ready okay now i want to write down the main method class so i was taking class single inheritance right i was giving single inheritance example so this is the class name okay what i am giving here class name now see here i need to write down the main method public static void main of string args what i am giving here 
public static void main of uh, string arcs. This is your main method. Okay. Now, what I said you in the definition in inheritance, we can create object to the child class. So now, here you need to create an object to the child class. So child c is equal to new child of new child of okay. So by using this object, okay. Now c is the object to the child class, and this c object is created by new operator. Okay, so by using this object, you are calling superclass method and you are calling the subclass method. So let us see here c dot. What is the superclass method you are having? Display. Okay. Now c dot. What is the subclass method you are having? Show method. Okay. So. So when you are calling like this, automatically. It can call output like this. So when you are calling c dot display method, this is parent class. It will call them. This is parent class. Parent class. Okay. And again, see here. When I am calling show method, it was printing an output like this is child class. This is child class. Okay. This is the output you are getting when you are implementing single inheritance concept. And we can write down the same logic in different way. See, what is the method I'm having in the super class? Display method. You can call this. Okay. So before this is system dot outer print alert, whatever the super class method you are having, you need to define it. So display method. You are calling super class method into the sub class. Okay. That means you are inheriting the data from one class to another class. Now see. No need of writing this logic. Okay. So when you are calling, see subclass method. When you are calling subclass method, C is the object to the child class, right? So when you are calling C dot show method, so what is the output it is going to print? First of all, when the compiler come to here, okay. When the compiler come to here, automatically it will go to the show method. First of all, it will call the superclass data, then it will call the subclass data. So, what is the output it will print? This is parent class. This is parent class, and this is child class. First, it can call the parent class data. Then, it is going to call the subclass data. Okay. So, like this also, you can write up. And I want to tell you. If you are creating object to the parent class, remember guys, in any inheritance we have to remember that point. See, when you are creating object to the subclass, it was calling both superclass data and the subclass data. But when you are creating object to the superclass data, so it will call only superclass data. But it is not going to call any subclass data. For suppose you see guys, I was removing these two lines and I was creating object to the parent class. So what is the parent class? Parent, okay. P is equal to new parent. If you are giving like this, okay. If you are giving like this, P dot. I was giving here display method. What you are giving here? Display method. And P dot. If I am giving here show method, okay. What will be happen means see in output it is going to call only parent class data, but it is not going to call any sub class data. Okay, so that is the reason in inheritance we can create object to the subclass by using this subclass object you are calling the superclass data. So this is all about single inheritance. Okay, so what is a single inheritance? Deriving a one subclass from one superclass is nothing but single inheritance. Okay, so thank you everyone. So please like, share, and subscribe our channel.